Hello and welcome to a tutorial video with Jersey Panther. Oh, you guys, um, such amazing feedback from the last few videos. Thank you for all the comments and subscriptions that I've had uh, in the last couple of weeks. And um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been doing this for nearly a year and I haven't had feedback quite like that. Um, now, a few of you did shout for a tutorial, uh, so that is why I'm here. Uh, a few others shouted at my music choice. Um, and yeah, sorry, mistakes were made there. Anyway, um, so here is my cabin in the woods. It is the first of a few uh, a few similar builds. Um, I might even get a little village on the go uh, using a similar build style, but I'll have to wait and see. Um, I think this fits in brilliantly with the with the foresty environment. I've gone here for a birch forest. Um, it's got a lot of birch wood in, so that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so you're here for the tutorial. Let's get the list of materials up, and let's get started. Here we go. And now I'm not going to give you a rundown word by word with each one, uh, but basically you need a lot of spruce wood, you need a lot of birch wood, and you need clay to make bricks. Um, the other things are just ingredients with crafting table, there's some glass in there, there's a campfire in there, lanterns, um, and lastly you just want to grab some bone meal uh, just to be able to do that uh, magic on the roof later. Um, now it's worth saying, you don't actually need that many moss blocks uh, because when you bone meal moss against dirt, the moss spreads across the dirt and replaces it. Uh, so you can actually place dirt um, and swap it out for the moss later using bone meal and one moss block. Uh, but I'll leave that to you. Okay, let's get into it. First off, we are going to get a 15 by 15 square down onto the grass here. Uh, now I'm using uh, just some yellow and some red wool. Um, I'm going to knock this out um, as soon as I've finished. So there you go. Get that set up first. Um, and then you need to dig a, dig a hole that is one block deep. Um, so get rid of all those marker blocks and let's get digging. Now, before I crack on, um, and while I'm while I'm cracking on in the background, I suppose, um, feel free to pause this video, feel free to replay it. If I'm going too fast, you are still in control. Um, so grab the controls and follow along with me. Okay, let's speed that up. Next thing is to get uh, two blocks in each corner. It doesn't matter what block. Uh, I've used moss, uh, you can use dirt, you can use whatever. Um, and next thing you're going to get your spruce or stripped spruce logs and you're going to place them as I'm doing in the video. Now you see on the left hand side I've left a two block gap on either end. Um, that is where the stripped birch wood is going to go. So keep going. Now I've just, um, in the video, I've just remembered that rather than placing these blocks side to side, you want to place them top to bottom. So by that, I mean you want to place the stripped birch log by clicking on the floor, not by clicking on the block alongside it. I hope that makes sense, uh, but basically we want the logs to go upwards uh, when they are standing tall. Um, now I've, leaved, I've left a place for the bricks. Um, that's going to be where our fireplace goes. And the next step is to get the A-frames in place. So we start with a sprue staircase and as you can see we place it like that and we keep going up keep going up all the way to the middle and then we start from the other side bum, bum, bum. and when we're at the top we put one staircase back like that, and uh, you can just about see it there, we put one facing outwards, uh, just a bit of flare. Um, now on this one, you put in uh, two blocks along from the left-hand side, and then you put another block to start a smaller A-frame on this side of the house. Uh, so just copy what I'm building, do both sides, and this is just going to be a lovely window uh, for this side of the house to overlook the lake. There we go. Uh, and then the next one I'll speed up. Uh, this is just um, exactly the same as the other side. So I've gone for symmetry here rather than um, uniqueness, if you like. 
Once you've built up that A-frame, you finish off the loop by putting in the spruce stairs down the far side where the fireplace is going to go. Now, next thing you need to do is build up the uh, build up the stripped birch wood within the A-frames. Now, what I tend to do is just build them up in full. Um, it tends to be a bit quicker, uh, and then I will think about window placement. So I've nearly finished this wall now, and I'm just going to punch out uh, I think four blocks tall, uh, nearly nearly in the middle. Um, that's going to be a nice window on that side. Repeat on the other side. Now this is where I am going for a little bit of um, uniqueness, so both sides will be slightly different, but you'll see that in the uh, detailed phase when I'm putting in the spruce the, when I'm putting in the spruce details. Okay, so on this one we're going to have four slightly smaller windows. Um, and then just to finish off this side, we're going to have two small windows here as well. And there we go. Right, next I like to put the underside of the roof in first. Now, you could put the roof in first and then do the spruce uh, stairs inside afterwards. I just tend, I just find this a bit easier. You can place the moss much quicker afterwards. Um, now you'll also notice that I'm leaving a big gap for the fireplace. Okay, so let's speed this up. Okay, now on the other side, it is slightly more tricky, uh, but we're going to put, put the three and then we're going to change direction and put uh, the spruce staircase like that. That means that the staircase goes around the corner uh, and gives you a lovely little angled piece, uh, just like that. Um, now that really is um, all it is uh, for the stairs, uh, so I'm just going to finish off all those stairs on the inside, and uh, the next step is to start mossing the roof. And while I was building this I also thought actually let's stick a pillar in the middle, I think that would look really nice when it's finished. There we go. Now uh, just finishing off the top side of the roof, um, last few sets of spruce stairs. No, oh. and there we go. Cross beam across the top. This is also stripped birch, and then we can start mossing. Now, as I said, you could place dirt all the way along the top of this roof. Um, for example, you're in the start of your survival world. You don't have the resources yet. Stick dirt down. It's absolutely fine. You can come and do this bit later. Um, what you need to do is you get the dirt down. You then get one piece of moss, you bone meal on the moss block and the moss will spread. The moss can then spread across the entire roof where you've placed the dirt. Now I'm in creative mode right here so I've just gone ahead and placed the moss. Um, I'm finishing off the other side, exactly the same as before, and at the top of the roof we're going to go for spruce trapdoors. There we go along the top across our little window, now this is quite a basic chimney design, we've got brick stairs, brick blocks, uh, slight angle just for a bit of interest, uh, nice and tall, campfire on the top, brick wall just above to act as our little chimney, surrounded by spruce trap doors, and then four spruce signs, just to um, add that little bit of detail. Now, detail at the front. Um, now, this is where you can really customise it. Um, this is just something I've done. You can mess around and play with this as much as you want. There is lots of different ways to do this. Um, you can have uh, bigger windows. You can have different coloured windows. You don't need the spruce trap doors. I just tend to like the, the kind of the stripes, um, if you like. So the downward stripes where the door is. Um, and you've also got the, the stripes that continue with the glass. Spinning round to the side window, this is much smaller, less detail, but same thing again. I'm not overcomplicating this, this is just basic spruce details. A little bit of a tight angle here, but hopefully you can see. 
just as I finish off. Now for the inside, um, first of all, obviously, we're going to take out the dirt. Um, and while I'm doing that, um, one thing has just come to me. Spruce trapdoors. Um, any trapdoors. Word of warning, health warning if you like. If you build a base with lots of trapdoors on an SMP, you will get people always opening your trapdoors. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. They will do it all the time. Um, and yeah, you can fight them when you find out who it is. Um, if the guys on my server are watching, um, it was a lot of fun trying to work out who the trapdoor bandit was uh, in the last season of Featherfall. We got them in the end. Um, we worked out who it was. But anyway, it's, it's just a bit of fun. Um, now, laying down some stripped spruce logs across the floor just to break up the pattern a little bit. Um, I've gone for a fairly basic design. Again, you can change up the floor as much as you want um, when you figure out what you're going to do on the insides. Um, for the main floor, we're using spruce planks. So let me fill those in and you can copy that and I will speed this up. Now, just adding some detail to the front door. Um, always uh, remember to put your glass panes in, which I've obviously forgotten to do. Um, and then swinging round to the fireplace. So again, fairly basic. We're just going to use bricks. Uh, you can mix in some granite, just to add some texture. I haven't here, um, but we're just going to go for uh, brick blocks with steps and a slab out front with a campfire uh, and then stacked up with our chimney. There we go, just a little bit of layers in the front, block it up top and then uh, again I'm going to use some signs just to add a little bit of depth to this um, fireplace, like so. Now I haven't shown you um, any interior designs, uh, that is up to you. Uh, go nuts, look on Google, uh, search for interior designs um, and get this thing decorated. Last thing, I mentioned about the bone mill. This is where the bone mill comes in. Once you've mossed up your roof, you just get your bone mill, right click on the moss, and you can get some life onto the top of your building. Um, now obviously you'll get lots of trees, you'll get big grass, I tend to, bla I tend to bash that out, uh, leaving all the small grass. Um, and yeah, here we go. We are just swinging the camera around now to uh, get a final look at this build. Um, I hope you like it. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, you've been awesome. Thank you very much. See you next time.